Hello everyone and welcome to another virtual story time. I'm here at the Graves Library and I'm Miss Isabel and it's a cold day today. My fingertips are like numb. <laughs> it's scarf weather. It's less than 50 degrees out right now. Maybe it's warmer by the time you're watching this but it's Thursday morning right now and it's a chilly one. So normally for virtual story time, I use the same books that I use for live story time, which is Friday mornings at 10, out on the lawn. And last week we ended up not having live story time because of the rainy weather. So I'm using the books that I recorded last week for this week's live story time. So there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a discrepancy. And so I thought, I'll just pick some books that I think sound fun and not have a theme for the week. And I'm just going to show you a couple of books that are actually new to the collection and are on our new books shelf for you to come in and check out anytime you want. So our first one is called No, Said Custard the Squirrel. And I didn't notice until I was labeling the book that there is no squirrel and custard is actually a duck. <laughs> And I think that might be explained to us as we read the book. And I will try to pronounce this author's name because I know he's a very good author. His name is Sergio Ruzier. Ruzier? I listened to a video and I still couldn't pronounce it, but it sounds kind of Italian. <laughs> and this one is called No, Said Custard the Squirrel. And the first page here has Custard the Squirrel, who is a duck, and a mouse. And then it goes, Custard the Squirrel. Don't you think Custard the Squirrel is a silly name? The mouse seems to be saying that. And Custard's got some paint. And of course, Custard says, No, said Custard the Squirrel. And here we are at the title page, finally. There were a couple of, couple of lead-ups to that. And our publisher for this one is Abrams Appleseed. No, said Custard the Squirrel. Custard the Squirrel, aren't you a duck? No, said Custard the Squirrel. You can see some other squirrels here that look pretty different from custard. Custard the squirrel, won't you go swim in the lake? Looks like he has a map there. The mouse looks pretty grumpy too. Won't you go swim in the lake? No, said Custard the Squirrel, and instead, he's in a sailboat on the lake. There's some ducks that bear resemblance to Custard. And a lovely landscape with a pink sky. I like that. I like the colors in this. Custard the Squirrel, will you please quack? No, said Custard the Squirrel, and instead he sits down and plays a pipe organ. And by the look on the mouse's face, I'd say Custard does not play the pipe organ very well. Which must be hard to do when you have wings instead of fingers. Custard the Squirrel eats some weeds. Does Custard look like he wants weeds? No, said Custard the squirrel. And you can see he's sitting at a table with some very interesting food. See a piece of cheese, some like poached pears maybe. There's some sort of parfait type thing and a beautiful cake. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Show it to you closer. See if anybody has any idea what that could possibly be. Custard the 
Master the Squirrel, can you please lay an egg? What's it going to say? No, said Custard the Squirrel. And he's sitting in a beautiful chair, reading a book with eggs. And the mouse looks grumpier than ever. Custard the Squirrel is just not listening. Custard the Squirrel, no. Cut him right off. No, 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 said Custard the Squirrel. And it looks like he's having some fun saying no. And sometimes it is fun to say no. Custard the Squirrel, do you only answer no? What's he gonna say? Do you only answer no? Yes, said Custard the Squirrel. <laughs> that seemed to make the mouse pretty happy. <laughs> and that is the end of no, said Custard the Squirrel. And I still don't really understand why, but I'm glad that Custard the Squirrel is having fun. <laughs> That's a silly one, and I think our next one is similarly silly. But it's also very different, and it's called Jeff Goes Wild. And this is Jeff. He's an orange cat. And this font is really hard to read, but the author is Angie Rosalar. And the flap here says, I am Jeff, hear me roar but it's just a little orange cat. Jeff Goes Wild by Angie Rosalar. And our publisher for this one is Catherine Teigen Books. You can see our friend Jeff on the title page there, looking out a rainy window. Jeff sat by the window as the rain poured down one bored little kitty in a big gray town. He might look small and gentle and mild, but being stuck indoors was enough to drive him wild. And we meet Jeff. You can see, just like at my house, there's pictures of the cat everywhere. I have lots of cat pictures. I am Jeff, hear me roar. I'm a big tiger, see my stripy tiger tail, my furry tiger paws. Watch me as I growl and prowl, fear my awesome claws. And I love how the shadow here does look like a tiger, even though Jeff is so little. Here he is on the other page. He does have a stripy tail like a tiger. He does have furry paws, he does prowl, and he does have claws, but these pictures look like he's just doing damage around the house. Typical cat. Jeffrey Fluffy McSnuggletum, you beastly cat. No gourmet kitty treats for you. Looks like that voice is coming from a human of the household, and you can see all the collateral damage Jeff has left behind. <laughs> I'm a tiger, said Jeff, so I really don't care. And he slunk off for a nap in his favorite armchair. Jeff was soon woken up by a peculiar sound. His pointy ears twitched and he looked all around. His little nose wriggled at a strange new smell. He felt a bit nervous, but curious as well. 
The jungle was dark, and things moved all about him. Jeffrey, Jeff bravely set off to explore his surroundings. You can see that is not the house with the rainy window. And when something colorful caught his eye, he couldn't resist chasing a butterfly. It was a big butterfly. I'm a big scary tiger. See my stripy tiger tail, my furry tiger paws. Watch me as I growl and prowl, fear my awesome claws. And yet, it does just look like he's playing with a butterfly. <laughs> but he's having a good time. Jeff sprang into action and pounced quick as a flash. But he missed by a whisker and landed with a great... Hmm. Here he is, pouncing. He missed by a whisker and landed with a great splash. Uh-oh. Looks like he displaced a frog. Jeff felt quite silly as he sat in that pool, so he dried his wet paws and did his best to look cool. But there in the bushes, and now wide awake, secretly slithered a huge, stripy... A huge, stripy snake. Hiss, hiss. The snake was quite scary, all scaly and green, but Jeff puffed up his chest and tried his best to look mean. I'm a big, strong, scary tiger. See my stripy tiger tail, my furry tiger paws. Watch me as I growl and prowl, fear my awesome claws. He's trying to look mean in this one. I don't know. You decide if he's succeeding. But then it looks like maybe he and the snake could be friends of some sort. <laughs> The snake, looking rattled, decided to flee when he saw behind Jeff in the shade of a tree the beastliest beast in the jungle for sure. And then all at once came a ground shaking. Hmm. There's the snake. And there's Jeff. See anyone else in this photo this picture? And then all at once came a ground shaking roar. There's a real tiger. Not looking happy either. Jeff and the tiger found themselves nose to nose. What have we here then? growled the tiger. Jeff froze. Well, how could he answer a question like that? I am Jeffrey Fluffy McSnuggletum, and I am a... Look how big that tiger is compared to Jeff. I am a cat. See my stripy fluffy tail, my tiny kitty claws. Watch me as I pad and pounce with my dainty little paws. And now it's time that I was off. It was really nice to meet you. Oh, won't you stay, the tiger said. I promise not to eat you. Okay. But Jeff said, no, I have to go. He'd had quite enough of the jungle. He was tired and scared and missing his home, and his tummy was starting to rumble. He knew it was time to escape, but how? Then he remembered what cats can do best. 
Hmm. There's a bird up in the tree here. I haven't seen before, I don't think. Then he remembered what cats can do best. Meow. I'm good at jumping. No one can match me. I'm nimble and quick. Even tigers can't catch me. I'm great at climbing way up high. I'm difficult to beat. And if I fall and fall and fall, there he is jumping up and there he is maybe losing his balance and starting to tumble. If I fall, I'll land safely on my feet. Tigers are great, purred Jeff happily, but I am who I am and I love being me. And as he washed his paws, he smiled. It was good to be small and just a little bit wild. So he's landed on his feet and he's had those gourmet kitty treats that he was told he wasn't going to have. <laughs> And that is the end of Jeff Goes Wild. But the back pages are pretty cool with their jungly pattern, which is the same as Jeff's favorite armchair. All right, those were two interesting books and I loved them both. So we read No, Said Custard the Squirrel and Jeff Goes Wild. And these are both new to the collection, so if you're coming in looking for them, they will be on one of the new books shelf, and I can always help you find them. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this week's story time, and I will see you next time when we will be back on track with the themes that I have planned out. See you next time.